Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Today we will be building the Seed Factory. So what the Seed Factory basically is, is a lander that lands first on the planet and then builds a type of mini colony. The ability to mine, factory, smelt metals, and also house kerbals and feed them. We do have to remember that part count is a thing, so we have to keep the lander at a minimum of under 200 parts as well as the many uh, little buildings that we're gonna build. Uh, they also have to be very basic. We're, we're still gonna make them look cool and good, but they're gonna have to be very um, part count friendly. This build took over five hours to make. And I know this because I have my OBS recordings and every single one of them is an hour long and there's six of them Five of them about an hour long and the last one is about 16 minutes long so this was a nice little project for sure it took all day yesterday after work and all day this morning so when I release it this morning uh, I will have just finished <laughs> finished editing this video so the neat things that I like about this lander is also is it's like um, it's air brake system it kind of reminds me of the um, the drop the orbital drop troopers from from Halo in that uh, drop pod mechanism and it even makes the I didn't record it but it even makes the metal clang when it opens up and that's because of the fact that the struts are breaking when I hit the action group to disconnect them and so it's got this satisfying clang as it as it opens up real hard and uh, the drag is significant enough to where it will stop it high enough um, the only problem with that is of course is trying to land the sucker I'm, I'm still looking for the mod trajectories and I'll eventually be able to download it so I can actually land in the so I can actually land in the crater or canyon which gives you enough depth and uh, atmosphere to be able to slow down properly unlike landing on the higher grounds which you know if if you don't do it right will uh, slam you into the ground because there's not enough air to slow you down. During this video, you're gonna see me start off with like a whole bunch of rocket parts to, to bring to the surface of the planet, but I find out that it, it's just too heavy. Too many rocket parts, it, the sucker is way too heavy. So I end up putting fuel on the very top and have that drain first so that most of the weight is towards the bottom during landing. Um, I am going to just go ahead and ditch the whole heat shield idea i mean the heat shield helped slow me down but let's be honest i have enough rocket fuel in this thing to slow down manually any damn way because there is a point where i did finally was able to land it was a close one it was a damn suicide burn to hell and that, that was just pure luck because i was all manual but i was able to land and when i did i noticed that i had a but ton of rocket fuel so I can just use that instead of the heat shield to slow down and to be honest the heat shield would sometimes get in the way so I wasn't really too impressed with it now I was thinking about making this lander have like the ability to mine as well as uh, build stuff but like I said before I'm trying to keep part count down to a minimum so it's just easier to build like a tiny little mining station or building on the side the idea is that once the mining all the stuff is built on the sides of this sea factory in order to start building an actual colony uh, the idea is to actually be a, you know get rid of all of this stuff once the colony is established and built the seed factory is going to well the only thing I can think of right now is it's gonna fly away as high as it can and go somewhere and explode all by its lonely self that's the idea I know there's mods out there that are like recycle mods. Maybe I'll give those a shot. They got funky looking parts though, which is kind of immersive breaking, but it is what it is. I mean, if anything, I'll just go into the uh, the map mode and delete them, delete craft file. I'll, I'll mark it down as garbage, or even better, I'll just go ahead and mark it down as uh, debris and the game will delete it eventually any damn way. At the end of the video, I am trying to put this thing on a rocket and get it into orbit it took about maybe six or seven tries before I finally found a good design that will get it into orbit and the reason is is because we're gonna build this thing in orbit before we launch it I was thinking about doing a whole one launch and done scenario but let's face it that's just a lot of parts to deal with and I'd rather have a nice smooth ride up there and just put it together in orbit in the end I think this colony ship is actually gonna look like a long cylindrical stick 
with three landers attached to the sides. I'm not too sure yet on what kind of design I want to go for, but we're definitely going to need the seat factory and then we're going to need another lander to land the colonists, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to see if I can't finish up a spore video for later on this evening, and then I'll be working on a video for tomorrow. Uh, the tomorrow video will be designing the buildings that this thing is going to create on um, on its sides. Oh, and also, I really liked how the arms turned out. I didn't like the fact that I was going to use the hinges in order for the arms to fold out on the bottom of the seat factory because it kind of glitched through the entire thing as it came out and I was like, eh, it just doesn't feel right. So I'm really glad that I went ahead and just figured out how to make it so the whole thing comes out from the bottom and I think it looks really nice. But anyway, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Cross your fingers for that sport video if I'm able to get it out sometime later today. And that's it for now. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>